3,000 million years old, yet still a mystery. What lies below the tiny crust of surface that man inhabits? Heat, flame, and death. Severe detonation, 473939. Variant 309. Repeat, variant 309. Check the epicenter. Epicenter, 43 degrees, 70 minutes north latitude. Longitude, 119 degrees, 6 minutes west. You see, Brad, the epicenter form a regular pattern, almost a half moon, extending from the Kamchatka Peninsula through Alaska, the west coast of Canada, and Oregon. That whole area has a long history of earthquakes. Perhaps these latest quakes merely represent some natural adjustment of the Earth's surface. No. It's possible, Dr. Zerko. I don't agree, Dale. I don't agree at all. What else can it be? From the way these quakes are hitting, epicenters evenly spaced. There's only one possible explanation. What? Some form of intelligence must be behind it. It's impossible. And the facts speak for themselves, Commissioner Harrison. Look, the quake started here. Started moving slowly in this direction. Epicenters regularly spaced. As if someone, something below the Earth's surface, were probing the crust, looking for some fissure some softness in the subsurface to which it could break. Commissioner Erickson. Another one, sir. You will suspect it is a sand barium. Epicenter? I'll have it in a minute, Dr. Russell. Commissioner What is it? That's funny. This one hit just about the same spot as the last one did. It's the first time that's happened. Well, the pattern has been broken. That can't us out your theory, Sarkoff. Far from it. It only means they've probably found what they've been looking for and are retesting. If anything, the danger is more immediate, greater than ever. An intelligence existing in the subsurface? Perhaps another world? It's fantastic. There's no time to lose, Commissioner. You go along with Dr. Harkov, then? I sure do. I think we're sitting on the lid of a volcano. It's something a lot worse. Gel makes the metal heat resistant. And it solves our major problem. Look here. Here it is. We can start building at once. Let me see if I follow you on this, Dr. Zarkov. This mechanical mold, or whatever you decide to call it, has an atomic engine in the middle. It sprays heat through the snow. Exactly. Liquefying the rock in front of it. And the liquid is carried back through these vents on the outside and extruded at great force. Thus giving us actual jet power to push ahead. A jet power this one. Exactly. And the plasto gel acts as a fire resistant coating over all metal parts. Yes, the entire ship will have to be coated. We must have that. We can expect to meet tremendous heat once we get below the Earth's crust. How soon before this earthworm will be ready? Minister of Production tells me he'll turn over an entire plant with all its personnel. He thinks not more than ten days. Ten days? The latest reports from Oregon claim that the tremors are getting more powerful and more frequent. The people are in panic. I know. I can only hope that we finish with this before time runs out. Come on, let's get these plans over to the Minister of Production. Watch it, Dr. O'Bridge. Yeah. It's done a splendid job, considering the time they've had. All we need is case, and we'd be right at home. I don't know. This business of digging our way down to the devil leaves me cold. Not for long. Wait until we hit the temperatures of the inner sensors there. But not. Hot enough. 
At 40 miles, we can expect something like 3,520 degrees. Give me the wide open spaces. You think the plasto gel will really insulate us against the tremendous heat, Dr. Zarkov? I don't know, Flash. We haven't really had time to test it. I think so. I hope so. Oh, if we're not fully satisfied, we'll merely return the container and get double the money back. Immediately? You can't mean that. A mission like this into an unknown area, using untested equipment, it would be sheer murder to order them to start until Zarkov is fully satisfied on every point. Erickson, these are my orders. Flash Gordon and Zarkov must start at once. I recognize the fact that the odds are 100 to 1 against survival. But unless we do something at once, now, today, the situation will get completely out of hand. I'm sorry. Mrs. Commissioner Erickson, dear. We've got the Zarkov available. Just a moment, Commissioner. Zarkov here. Have your arrows. Yes. You must start today. Today? Well, that's impossible. I'm sorry, Dr. Zarkov. I'm merely relaying the orders. Evidently, the situation is getting out of hand. The people are at the point of panic. We must get some reassurance that countermeasures are being taken. Hello, Dr. Zarkov. Are you there? Yes, Commissioner, I'm here. I'm sorry about this. We've just had a caucus. It seems the crew of Zarkov's folly has had a fit of temporary insanity. They've agreed to start immediately. I wish I were there. I wish I could join you. No, Commissioner. You stay where you are and proofread the obituaries. Best of luck. Thanks a lot. We'll need it. Cutting off. When do we start? There is no time like the present. Dale? G-427 to control. G-427 to control. We are pushing off. This is not a trial run. Repeat, this is not a trial run. Cutting off. How is that old song go? We don't know where we're going, but we're on our way. Take forward to the... You saw me in by, Seth. Radiation is 0.5. All right. Ready on the port and starboard tractors. Let's go. Two hundred thousand feet. Two hundred and three thousand feet. We're approaching the bottom edge of the Earth's crust. What's the outside temperature reading, Dale? 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit and climbing fast. I thought it was a trifle warm in here. Once we hit the basalt layer, temperature should start moving down. 300,000 feet. Temperature 2,675 degrees. Do you think someone might open a window? Unless the temperature curve starts dipping downwards, like we're in real trouble. Any, any suggestions? We can reverse. Let's go back. It's an attractive offer, but I'm not buying it. Your Mightiness. Yes? The radometer reviews a strange object penetrating the peridotite layer.
I don't understand. I don't understand that it should go down, down. Temperatures should go down. Temperatures? 3,900 degrees. Back, my Come back. I can't. These holes are red hot. I can't stand this heat. Temperatures? 4,100 degrees. There. Just leave the water. Your orders have been obeyed, Your Mightiness. The pressure from the chamber of flame has been doubled. Good. Good. Look. Kindness. Give it a rose. All of them. Give it a rose. Death. 500,000 feet. Temperature. 4,500 degrees. Oh, Beth. I can't take this heat. Hang on, Jim. Gotta hang on. Flash Gordon, Dr. Zarkos, and Dale are trying to reach the land of the subsurface people. But their atomic earth borer is caught in a superheated fissure far below the surface. And Unable to withstand the enormous heat, they are on the point of complete collapse. Could you stand up? The flash don't go fall. It's like metal. Maybe it'll work on us. Close your eyes.
got something. I saw. And the warm hand of friendship is definitely not being extended. Go back. Come a long way to find out what's behind the attack on Earth. Let's keep going. Stop. We'll have to find another way. We come in peace. Will you take us to someone in authority? Who is your leader? Shall you take us to Zalbo? So, like, we've got to prove that we come in peace. Shall you? We have come here from the surface of the earth. I know where you come from. I have eyes that see beyond the inner earth. And I have ambitions that leave beyond the rocket iron of the Empire now protect. We come on a mission of peace. Peace? Peace is a refuge of cowards. Peace is the salvation of civilization. It's a lie. When men are weak, they cry peace. When they are strong, they attack, they conquer. And I shall conquer. For mine is the power of the earth and fire of the heart. Against the mass power of the galaxy, any war you might undertake must end tragically for you and your people. What are the weapons of the surface, man? Tell me what they are. If you'll accept our offer of peace, we shall be happy to share with you all that we know. But if war is your ambition, you'll get no information from us. Speak. Answer my question. What are the weapons of the surface, man? My answer to that is simply this. We have weapons powerful enough to annihilate you and your army any time, any place. Impress them. Change them. Teach them the meaning of obedience to Zaldo. Not a chance. Save your strength, man. To work. We must find some way out. We must warn our people. This Zaldo is mad with ambition. What did he mean when he said he had the strength of the Earth's fiery heart? It can't be true. I can't let myself believe it. You believe what, Dr. Zykoff? The strength of the Earth's fiery heart. And yet, whistling in the wind? Maybe. What else could it be? The core of the Earth is a mass of gaseous iron under tremendous pressure. If Zaldu has found some way to harness this enormous reservoir of energy, he can make good every threat. That's a pretty prospect. I must know the nature of this Earth. Have the prisoners talked? Not at all. I would attempt to do this better myself. Work it loose. Good, good. Why, somebody's coming. I will tell you nothing. I will save you for the law. Will you talk? If I do, you won't enjoy what I have to say. Oh, the cold, the 
globe's car. Look into it. Feel the waves of a sea. That's the power I protect. have a pretty face, that to be honest, I had other plans for you. But now... Ah! 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 Get back! Get back! I'm chained. Uh, do it! Do it! Wait, 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 wait. Where's your face of operation? How do you get the plan to get to the surface? Helen! Helen! We have thrown the fire and pressure from the chamber of sand to a subterranean fissure that extends from our land to the surface. We are liquefying and drawing out the debris, creating a channel that will take us to the surface. We must get to the source of their power and cut off the pressure plate. All right, take that chamber of flame. Be quick about it before I fillet your board. <laughs> We've got to cut off the pressure before the channel reaches the surface. Okay, move. Chamber of flames and no detour. Go! Go! Plutonium bars set. Radiation reading 0 0.8. Here we go. That's the end of Zaldu. And his world, no loss. I give it all to the worms and the rats. I'm headed for the bright blue yonder in one breath of fresh air. Can you spare a goat for me? Spare me. Why, sure. You could even have two goats. And an inhale. On me. <laughs> 